Hello again, everybody. It's Captain Firefox back in our survival world on Space Engineers. Now, I've got some good news to start off with. I'm standing on the ship. <laughs> I didn't fall through it. So the game has de-glitched itself. Are those, are those uneven? No way. Surely it's just the viewpoint, right? One, two. Okay, we're good. We're good. They're, they're the same. They're the same. Everything's good. Everything is awesome. All right. It's that point. It is time to take off. Yeah, we're finally there. We're finally there. I haven't added any additional ice to the ship. So we're at less, a little over 50%. A little over 50% of ice. And I'm hoping and praying that will give us off the planet. Because quite frankly, I cannot... I, I just can't mine any more ice. I'm done with it. I'm tired of mining... And I managed to rip down my connector for my mining ship anyway, so I'd have to go through that whole putting a piston on there, and you know what, I just don't feel like doing it. So we're going to try to get off the planet with 50%. I've got 15 plus, 15 on the front there. Well, hold on, let me get 4, 8, 12, 15, 18, 18, 18, 18. I've got 22 freaking hydrogen tanks. That should be enough to get me off the planet at 50% each. That's, you know, yeah. So we're going to go with that. That's what we're going to try with. And i got to figure out what the heck I need for that to be built over there. Uh, Would have helped if I had looked and see what I needed first, huh? All right, let's try this again. I need metal grid. That's it. Metal grid. 40 metal grid. Glad I checked because that would not have got that. Mm -hmm. Alrighty. Now, I have not tried this. Oh, we need to turn you off. Oh, wasting hydrogen. Wasting hydrogen. That was dumb. 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 Ah, thruster, thruster, thruster. Ah, ah. Okay. Woo. All right, so we're just, just over 51% full. On most of the tanks, 32 and 25 in reserve on those. Oh, so we're going to call this good. We're going to go for it. That's what we're going to do. We're going to do it. Now, I'm a little nervous. I have not tested this on any other world. I don't know if it's going to get off. We weigh a flipping ton. Oh, so we're just going to we're going to cross our fingers and hope for the best. Um, yeah, I'll definitely do a quick save before I take off. You know, I think I have a button up here to turn everything off for me, so it shouldn't be an issue. I'm going to do a few housekeeping things to get the ship ready, and then it'll be time to take off. So i got to get my G-menu set up first and foremost. i got groups for my air vents. I can depressurize on and off. That's good. Turn my Gatling guns on and off. My hangar doors. No, let's not put that there. Let's put that. Put that there. Open and close. Interior doors. Open and closed. And my reactor doors. Open and closed. All right. Now I need to put my thrusters on some groups real quick, and I will show you why in just a minute. Okay, so. Thrusters. Okay, so this is this is all my thrusters. All thrusters. Save. Okay, now I need my up thrust. Okay, so these are all the ones that are facing up. So that's good news right there. Son of a bee. <laughs> I just lost which ones were which. Okay, let's try this again. Up. Do all these go up? They sure do. Okay. That is a butt ton. That's a lot of up thrust. Up thrust. And there's a reason that I have that there. Now the game plan. Okay, all thrusters. Toggle block on off. 
And up thrust. Increase thrust override. Decrease thrust override. The reason I'm doing that is the game plan is once I get up off the ground and up to full speed, I want to decrease the engines as much as I can to keep me going so I'm not burning fuel going full tilt out of the atmosphere. So that's why I did that right there. And now, unfortunately, <laughs> now it's time to put this all to test. It's uh, time to quick save. Oh, Lord. This, I'm nervous. I'm nervous. This is a lot of work that may or may not work. All right, let's try to get this set up. My spectator cam I'm in right now. All right. Oh. <gasps> See what we can do here. All right, F9 to get back into control of my person. I believe it was four to turn on my thrusters. Oh, lordy, lordy, lordy. Here we go. Here we go. I'm so nervous. Let's do this. Take off. Take off. Yes. <laughs> All right, keep going. What? You look like you're slowing down on me there. What are you doing? What are you doing? Okay. All right, that's enough of that. Get back into the cockpit. We're going. Very slowly. Oh, that's slow. Holy crap, that's slow. Keep going. Nervous. All right, full speed. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. I'm dropping. Dropping speed. Dropping speed. Picking speed back up. Okay, now we're at full. We're at full upwards thrust right now. So that is good. Alright, let me see how much I can back off of it without losing any speed. You see, I'm down to 5 mega newtons. 4 mega newtons. And I just lost it. Okay. All right, so roughly four and a half mega newtons is as much as I can knock it down. Oh well, we're flying. <laughs> we're flying. That makes me happy. All right, let's go ahead and turn. Let's close. What is that? Close all those doors. Close my hangar doors. Oh, I don't have my damn. Okay. Depressurize off. Need oxygen. Need oxygen. Come on. Come on. Come on, oxygen. Why is my oxygen low? What is going on? Come on. Come on. What's going on inside? Do I not? Screw it. Helmet on. Back in the chair. Don't know why my oxygen wasn't filling up back there. I'm assuming some of my interior doors didn't quite close. Or it's just taking forever to fill this big space. Or I suppose it's possible that this place is not airtight at all. Who knows? But we are still going up. We're halfway out of the gravity well right now. Let's see what our See what our hydrogen tanks are. Hold your breath. 38% still. Whew. Okay, I think we're going to make it. I think we're going to be okay. Um, yeah, we should be fine because we're, we're out of the hard part now. Just try to decrease my thrust a little bit now. There we go. Still decreasing. I'm further out of the gravity well. Should be able to burn less. Yes. Much better. Already down to two mega newtons, down to one. Okay, that was it. Right there. One mega newton is what I needed to get out of. All right, we made it, guys. That makes me happy. That makes me very, very happy indeed. Oh, well, I can breathe easy. All right, and it looks like. Uh, maybe, maybe I just had really smudged glass because it looked like there's already asteroids here. But I guess not. 
But once I get out of the gravity well, I can just turn my turn my engines off completely and just float until I start seeing some asteroids. I still don't have. Let's zoom in. Are all my doors closed on the outside? Yes. No. Hey, that's a problem. All right, let's go close that door. I'm surprised my oxygen is even. Why did I fall down there? What's going on? Okay. Close. Close. That door's closed. All right, now. Amazing. Amazing what happens whenever you close all the doors. Makes it so much more oxygen tight. Oh, and look at that. My oxygen's high. Amazing. Apparently, I didn't have those doors set up. What, what, what? I will continue to float up into space. And I will check back whenever I find my first asteroid and or I run out of hydrogen. <laughs> I'm almost completely out of atmosphere now at 0.15 G. I can probably slow it down a little bit more. Bam! Just like that, we are in outer space. Finally made it. Alright, we could conceivably turn off our initial dampeners now. Kill all our thrusters. And just like that, we are still floating at full speed. We still don't have any asteroids around that I can spot, so we're going to keep on floating until we run into some. I think I'm probably going to start pushing towards Mars, because that seemed to work on our group survival. <laughs> so I'll push towards Mars, and uh, yeah, we'll try to find us some asteroids or two that we can get next to and start the conversion to make this thing uh, a little more functional out here in space. So that's where I'm going to start doing it, and I'll check back as soon as I find me an asteroid to get all buddy-buddy with. Well, all right. Panic is about to set in again. <laughs> um, where the hell are all the asteroids? Nowhere to be found. Anywhere. Anywhere in the sky. There's nothing resembling an asteroid. Anywhere. I am now 73k away from where I started. And yeah, no asteroids. All I see is planets and moons. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to let myself get probably 100k away from where I started. Maybe let it go out to 100k away from where I pegged edge of Earth gravity. Although I probably traveled a good 30 or 40 kilometers before I realized that I didn't actually mark it. So... I might get about 60 away from that edge of Earth gravity bookmark before I call it quits and turn back around and head to the moon, which you can see in the background back there, because the moon also has all the platinum and everything I'll need on it. It's just, uh, yeah, it's going in the wrong direction. So, I was, I was half hoping that I was going to look like a fool there and turn around and there'd be a bunch of freaking asteroids, but at the moment, there are no asteroids, so we're kind of screwed, blue, and tattooed. So I'll just keep on chugging along. I'm not wasting any hydrogen. I got 284 days worth of uranium on board. So we're good for now. It's just a phenomenal waste of time at this point. Yay, space engineers. But it's space. It's vast. It takes forever to get anywhere. So we'll just uh, sit here, hold our breaths, twiddle our thumbs, play some heyday on the phone. Maybe watch Trump and his ridiculousness going on at the convention. And, uh, yeah. I guess that's what we'll do for now. We'll just sit around and wait. Well, that's something. My oxygen is low. Guess I should take my helmet off now that I've fixed the problem, huh? Genius. There we go. Now, back to heyday. Oh, snap. You guys see what I see? Oh, yeah. We got asteroids. I was just about to turn around. Right at the 100k mark from my place, I was about to turn around, and the first asteroids arrived. I was beginning to get into panic mode because, quite frankly, I don't know if I have enough hydrogen to land on the moon. Thought of that after the fact. So I'm glad I don't have to worry about that, and hopefully I will get lucky and land on an asteroid... That has some platinum, and if I'm super duper lucky, some ice as well. So I've got to time this right so that I don't blow past this thing and waste a ton of 
uh, hydrogen. I'm not really sure how to do that because I have no idea how much hydrogen it's going to take me to stop this thing. But we're going to go ahead and turn our engines back on. Hit that slow down button because I've only got the small thrusters in the front. So this could take a considerable amount of time to slow me down. So we'll go ahead and get the process started now. Yeah, I'm still only going 80 kilometers or meters per second. Sure. I hope I hit this soon enough. I have no idea how far the thing is away, but yeah. I think we'll be plenty good. You know what? I think. Yeah, I think we're going to float in at 65. We'll try that, see how it works. So I think we're still pretty far away. So I'm going to shut up and, uh, yeah, check back whenever I'm a little closer to the thing. Assuming I don't blow up in, on the way. All right, we're starting a slow stop again. Again, I have no idea how big that rock is or how far away from me it is, so... I think we'll knock it down to a little bit slower. I think we got a long way to go still. So I'm going to speed it back up a little bit so it doesn't take us six years to get there. I don't want to know how much hydrogen I'm burning right now. Because that would really suck if we ran out and just continue to spiral forward forever and ever and ever. All right. Here we go, slowing it down. I went too fast again. You know what? We might be doing the old turn around and stop trick. There we go. Got the large thrusters firing. Oh, shit. Woo. Yeah, I was headed right for that rock. <laughs> Why am I going so far up now? Oh, yeah, I have a ton of loot. <laughs> okay, we're going to rotate. <laughs> <laughs> oh good, there's ice. Alright, now stop. Guess we'll just spin all around until we finally stop. Okay. Where is the asteroid I was tri Good God. Could you have gotten much further away? This is what happens when you fly. Okay. Let's try to park it right beside it. And hope for the best. Come on, ship. You're going to want to stop. <laughs> Looks much worse from this angle, doesn't it? It's like, oh, God, we're going to hit it. Oh, no, we're not. <laughs> and we went way past it once again. Let's see if we can't land this sucker without crashing into the side of the rock. Go forward a little bit, get on this little higher edge. Come on. All right, she's locked. And let's see just how close we came to running out of hydrogen. 25% of the main tanks. <laughs> so we used... Ooh, those are empty. Those are almost in. <laughs> Yay. Okay. We're not going to worry about that right now. Oh, we made it. Do I have my helmet on? I don't even know. What the heck? Oh, yeah, I don't have any, uh... Oh, there we go. Dampeners. Okay. Do I have my helmet on? No, I don't. Helmet on. Okay. Get back in my body. <sighs> you know what? I don't think I opened the doors. Oh. There we go. And... Red doors? Nope. Wrong doors. 
Right doors. Okay. So I don't have any gravity. So we need to remedy that situation fairly quickly. A way to waste oxygen. All right. So we made it. We're in space. Ha <laughs> ha. Where'd the Earth go? Oh, well, I've managed to lose a planet. Way to go. That is how directionally inferior. There, hey, I found a planet. Well, all right. We have accomplished our goal for this episode. We made it off that planet. We did it. We didn't blow up or nothing. It's kind of depressing. It would have been really funny if I blew up, but I spent a lot of time and effort on that thing, and I'm glad. I'm glad we made it off in one piece. And I'm glad I didn't make the horrific decision to leave too early and we ran out of ice or something stupid like that. So, consider me happy. We made it. Now, the next phase from here will be to uh, build a mining ship. I'm going to have to... F that is a weird looking asteroid over there. Huh. Yeah, sorry. Squirrel! Anyways, build a mining ship, get me some platinum going, and... We got lots of ice right here, so that'll be nice to fill me back up. I should have enough resources here to build a rather rather large yep, no gravity still floating. Alright, anyways. Build a uh, rather large mining ship to get the job done. Well I hope. There there it is. Okay. Yeah, I got a, I got a fair amount of stuff here. I have all my minerals and everything still. So as long as I find myself some platinum and I can mine it by hand and bring it back. And we should be able to build ourselves a nice little mining ship, get us some more ice, get more platinum, build a couple of jump drives, slap them on the back here, and then make our way over to the red planet, which I also seem to have misplaced. There it is. All right. So that's where we're headed. I think we're going to land on the polar ice caps. Now, I've heard that that's where the pirates are, so that might be a bad idea. Maybe we'll do a... Uh, a flyby overhead before we uh, decide to land there. And that's the, that's where we're at. This is what we're going to be doing the next couple episodes is figuring something out for this ship. I might actually throw some ion thrusters on this as well um, because I clearly did not build these hydrogen thrusters for move, maneuvering in space because it took way too long to start, stop, turn, and all that fun stuff. So there's going to be some modifications done to this ship, and you know what? I never did name it. So we're going to do that real quick. I didn't get any suggestions there in the comments below, which <laughs> not the biggest surprise in the world. But I've come up with a name for myself. In light of recent events around the country, I've come up with what I think is the perfect name for this ship. So I'm going to go ahead and throw that name on here, and I'll check back when it's complete for the reveal of the name. And I'm running out of oxygen. <laughs> Yeah, hey, genius, if you're playing in space, you need oxygen bottles to survive. Oh, good lord, gotta get back to my med bay, which I did put on here, I, I never showed it off, but I did have med bays. Okay, so, oh, yeah, there we go, sweet, sweet oxygen. Okay, now, hopefully I managed to get myself some, do I have any oxygen bottles? Or did I just come completely un? There we see. I am so smart. We are out of ice though, so got to use these sparingly, I suppose. All right. Whoo! Now that I need a bunch of, don't need that. Don't need that. Or that. Or that. Or that. I do need a bunch of those. And hopefully I've got some interior plates laying around. Yes, I do. Okay. All right, that'll get me done. Now I can go build the name on the ship. And then I will check back with you again. All right, guys. The ship has been christened. Uh, given its paint scheme and the... I'm going to try real hard not to get on my soapbox here because, as y'all know, I'm law, enf law enforcement, fires law enforcement, and two becomes from a law enforcement family. And the recent events of the last couple of weeks have uh, shaken our community to the core. Uh, it's something that, uh, without going into too much details, has hit 
our families, both blue and blood, closely. The uh, friends have been lost. The country has come to a point where it never should have come. Uh, I'm not going to go on a soapbox about who's to blame, but it rhymes with Obama. And, uh, yeah, that's about all I have to say about that. I cannot wait for January to get here when we get an actual leader in the White House, and things should almost immediately get better. Now, this isn't a political channel. It's a gaming channel, so I'm not going to go into details. But if you vote for Hillary, you are part of the problem. The woman is a corrupt liar. She hates law enforcement, and she is pandering to the Black Lives Matter movement. The woman is will say anything to get elected, and I will leave it at that. So I'm sorry for going off on that little tangent there, and I'm going to get back to naming the ship, and you'll understand why I went there once you see the name. I have named her the Blue Line, which means the thin blue line, which is the line that stands between you, the citizens of America, and the world for that matter, and the people who do evil in it. The thin blue line is the symbol for law enforcement, and it's my way of showing a little bit of support in these trying times. I would urge each and every one of you to do your own research. Do not listen to what the liberal media is telling you. It is not factual. The You look at Baltimore right now. The, today, earlier today, the highest ranking officer that was indicted was cleared of all charges. What does that tell you, folks? A group of your peers who saw all the evidence put before them cleared all these people of any and all wrongdoing. But whenever this stuff happened, the liberal media would have you believe these officers are guilty. They were guilty until proved innocent. And that is not how it works in America at all. But I've gotten on my soapbox now, so I'm going to step back off of it, get back into the gaming world, and uh, feel free to blast me in the comments. I don't care. Uh, that's how I feel. You'll never change the way I feel. And for the overwhelming majority of people who go out of their way to show their support to law enforcement every day, I've personally been affected by it. Um, uh, share a little story about you about how America doesn't suck from top to bottom. Uh, there were some officers in our department who were out to eat. Uh, it was the week after what happened in Dallas, but before Baton Rouge. They finished their meal, and as they stood up to leave, the entire restaurant stood up and gave them a standing ovation. Now, I wasn't there. I didn't see it. Reading the story choked me up. It's people like that that me and my brothers and sisters in law enforcement strap on the 50 pounds of gear every day. We put up with the lower back pain. We put up with the, the hatred that we're facing every day. People like that are the reason we get up every morning, go out on their streets, and protect you. And for all these people who think that police officers are racist and that we do not care about the black community, open your damn eyes. We're the only ones in the black community doing anything to help the black community. But I've gone off on a rant yet again, so I'm going to shut up once more. My cat is being attacked by my dog, as you surely just heard in the background. And we're going to get back to the game. So the ship's name is the Blue Line. Uh, there wasn't enough room to put Thin on there. I might add that later. But uh, Blue Line, I think it works. The ship's blue. It's got a line through it. I'm law enforcement. I support every person in law enforcement. And, uh, yeah, that's all I'm going to say about that. So... I guess after that long-winded rant that I don't know if it'll stay in the finished video or not, might edit it out, might not. If I did, I said some profound things. <laughs> if I did edit it out, I said some profound things. And, uh, yeah, I'm sure I pissed some people off, and quite frankly, I don't care. I'll still put on my uniform and go out there and protect you if you're pissed off or not. I mean, look at Dallas. They were there. The protesters were screaming and yelling and calling them names, and then those same officers that were being screamed and yelled at were standing between those protesters and gunfire as they came towards them. And that's all you need to know about law enforcement, right there, in a nutshell. So, with that said, I'm going to sign off. I've got onto my uh, soapbox, and it's going to be hard for me to get off, so I'm just going to stop recording now. Well, thanks again for watching, guys. I apologize for getting all political. It's not something I try to do here on the channel, but it's been something that uh, has been weighing heavily on my heart, and uh, I needed to get it out. So thanks for listening, guys. 
And uh, as always, if you liked the video, please do hit that like button. If you really enjoyed it, hit that subscribe button. And make sure to come back, check out the channel for more great content. It's Captain Firefox, signing out. We'll see you next time. God bless.